Good morning everyone, uh, Mr O'Brien again. Um, just to a little exercise to build on the skills that we uh, were in the last video on how to do a block with a little, make it look a little bit like plastic and another block to look like wood. This is another variation on how to do uh, examples of wood. Um, again, these are the skills to help build um, towards the skills you require for the the course assessment added value unit you'll be doing next on the, the toy project. Okay, so without, uh, we'll start this just now. So if you look at these two little blocks, again, what I've done is I've rendered them both um, with the, the light coming from the top left hand side up here. So therefore the top surface is light, the side surface medium, and the back surface here is obviously dark. Same with the bottom one. And this time, obviously, what I've done is I've changed the kind of the figuring and the effect that obviously the wood uh, has on the wood uh, on the top of the wood there. If you cut a piece of wood, if you look at a piece of wood, this is the kind of markings you would expect to see on the piece of wood. And it's a very, very simple way of creating quartz. It looks quite effective uh, in terms of rendering, obviously, a piece of wood itself. So, um, so what we'll do is we'll just start with a new piece. And... What we're doing is we're obviously rendering the block with our normal using our three colour pencils again. A light brown, a dark brown and then an orange. So I'll start with my light brown again and I'm going to shade the whole block. Nice and lightly. And again, trying to make sure you get that even tone of colour, no white gaps, even if you have to just keep leaning lightly and just going over the whole thing over and over again. I'm going to do the sides as well, just one light shade. Okay, that's that one about done. Now we know that this side here, because the light's coming from the top left, but this side here is going to be medium, so this is obviously going to go over this a second time, just to make this a little bit darker than the top. And again, as before, very important that you absolutely you can see the difference between the top surface and this surface, and again this surface and the end surface. There has to be a clear distinction between uh, each one. If there's not, then you're not quite getting it yeah you, you need to really maybe lean a little bit harder and we'll go back over them again so i can very clearly see the difference between this one and this one and then obviously in the last one you can either go over a second time and a third time or if you're you know if you're confident enough you can obviously lean just that a little bit heavier again making sure that you get that very clear distinction between this one here and i can see it's nearly there but again i think i need to lean just that a little bit harder To make sure there's very much a difference between this one and this one and you can see that that's definitely the case so the difference between this one and this one and the difference between this one and this one very clearly okay now switch to my dark brown pencil now again if you're not sure but obviously copy my kind of markings i've looked at my a piece of wood that i have here next to my desk that i got out so i'm going to try and uh, create the same kind of markings that are on that but if you Try it yourself, get, get yourself a piece of wood. Again, this, this this part can be quite kind of raggedy because if you look at the top of a piece of wood, you find that it's, it itself is actually quite kind of raggy. Don't worry too much about... Yeah, another kind of markings coming away. on the top of the wood, yeah? And again, you do your lines down the side. They can be kind of slightly, they can be straight, or they can be slightly curved, the way the rings in a tree would be. Yeah. Okay. And then as before, you take your orange pencil and you just underneath the line, just give it that wee bit of accent, which helps give it a little bit of depth and make it stand out just a little bit better. Okay. I'm not 
too bad. Okay, so I've done better. But let's have a go again at this one again. This one here. And you can choose different markings if you say, and if you look at a piece of wood and you'll find the kind of natural kind of on the top of a piece of wood, the kind of natural uh, grain that's in a piece of wood when it's cut. I'm doing this a wee bit quicker than I would normally do it in terms of it so I can get this obviously finished. Again, clear distinction between the top. Just a wee bit darker the top. Just make sure you all the white parts. And just a bit heavier on the side one. And again, on the back one, obviously it has to be heavier and darker, obviously, than the than this one here. Okay, so again, switch to your, your dark brown pencil. Um, these parts probably a little more curved, um, uh, sort of less curved this time, more pointed, looking at my piece of wood here that I've got. So, again, not too bothered with that. I mean, again, you can decide you want to go. And obviously get further away. Out. You can go away like that, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, so you can choose, cho just come up with different patterns that you feel look. But we'll have a look at a piece of wood. Let's get a piece of wood and have a wee look at it, and you'll see the kind of markings that are on it. And again, down the side, I'm just going to carve mine. And again, in with the orange pencil, just to draw just a line kind of around the edge of it, just to bring the detail out just a little bit on it. Okay, and that's really it. So again, this is a good rendering exercise to help prepare for your rendering exercise you will do on your added value unit for your uh, course assignment next. Okay, good luck with this. This is going to be your homework for next um, next Tuesday. Okay.